Dear friends, thank you very much for responding to our invitation and coming uh, to this reception uh, dedicated to the opening of the exhibition of the Russian and Soviet painters. I hope you enjoy what you see. Uh, and uh, it so happened that uh, today is the uh, day of my visit uh, to the Republic of Cyprus. We have held very intense consultations and negotiations with our Cyprus friends who were received by the President of Cyprus, who also kindly hosted the luncheon uh, for our delegation. We had had uh, extended negotiations with Minister Kusulidis. We were received by the Speaker of the Parliament, and I'm glad to recognize him amongst ourselves. Uh, and we also uh, visited the Archbishop. Um, this uh, uh, itinerary reflects the richness of the relationship between Russia and Cyprus, the relationship which is based on uh, hundreds and hundreds of years. And we recall today when meeting with Archbishop and with the President that the first uh, recorded contact dates back to early 11th century when a Russian priest managed to get here. Uh, he wasn't a migrant. He came, he came because we felt the, um, uh, the closeness with the religion, with the people, uh, with the way they think. Uh, so we agreed to establish the exact year of that pilgrimage. And maybe we can soon celebrate the first, the first millennium of our relations. Uh, and would inaugurate the launching of the second one, which I'm sure would last uh, forever. Uh, today, <coughs> we face a lot of common challenges. We face the threat of terrorism, uh, which is something uh, threatening all of us. You cannot hide anywhere. You cannot hide behind some excuses. You cannot hide behind pretexts that you can only fight terrorism if something is done, be it regime change, uh, be it anything else, any preconditions must be thrown away, must be put aside, all differences must be put, put aside. <coughs> the enemy is <coughs> very serious uh, and uh, we have to fight it. We are grateful to the Republic of Cyprus, to the President of Cyprus, to the Minister who uh, once again uh, reaffirmed today their support uh, for the Russian effort to fight terrorism, uh, support uh, for the uh, need to form a universal coalition against ISIL, Jakarta, and Nusra and the like. Uh, we hope that the uh, preconditions which some of our friends uh, on this planet uh, put forward for the creation of such coalition uh, would be removed uh, because, as I said, it is really number one priority period. And we also grateful to our friends from Cyprus for solidarity uh, in the situation when Turkey shut down the Russian plane without any ground, the plane which was uh, coming back to the base after having implemented the counter-terrorist mission. We have a lot in common in promoting our values, including the values of coexistence of religions, interfaith dialogue, peaceful coexistence of uh, all sorts of Christians, all sorts of Muslims, all other religions. And uh, Russia is a multi-religious country, multinational country. Cyprus is the place where Orthodox Christians, Catholics, uh, Maronites, uh, Muslims have lived for centuries and centuries. Middle East is the place where Christianity was born, where Islam was born, and we cannot allow uh, some bad guys to change this equilibrium and to uproot, you know, the the uh, traditions, sacred traditions uh, of the of the uh, Middle East and North Africa. Uh, we discussed many things today. We hope that uh, uh, Kai Ede will use his diplomatic talents to help the two communities to reach a deal which would be mutually acceptable, which would not be imposed from outside, and which would be based 
on the framework endorsed by the Security Council. And of course, we look forward to uh, developing our bilateral relations with Cyprus in economy, trade, investment, and in other areas. Today, during this event, the exhibition of Soviet and Russian paintings, uh, I also have the pleasure of conveying a gift to our uh, friends in Cyprus. This is a replica of the statue uh, called the, um, the Good Defends the Evil, uh, which you can see in front of the United Nations headquarters in much bigger scale, of course. Uh, and uh, this one was <coughs> done by, the original uh, statue was, was uh, done by the Russian sculptor Zorab Seretele, uh, early 90s, when, uh, and he wanted to, to commemorate the deal between uh, the Soviet Union at that time and the United States, the deal on eliminating uh, uh, intermediate uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, those things which St. George hits are the remnants of SS-20s and Persians. Uh, and I would really like to recall uh, that time. Now we are arguing with the United States uh, who is violating the uh, INF Treaty. Uh, we have facts on, on the table. They don't. <laughs> uh, but we want, we want to, keep, to keep this dialogue uh, in an honest way, uh, based on, on, on actual uh, information, not on some uh, accusations without substantiation. But maybe this uh, symbol, which the president said uh, he would take to his office. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ioannis uh, wants to have it for the foreign ministry, but this, we are not interfering in domestic matters. This is yours. This is yours. You do what you want. I want this symbol of a real disarmament uh, to be, to be uh, guiding us uh, into more steps to make this planet safer. Thank you very much for coming once again, and all the best. Your Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, dear friend Sergei Lavrov, dear Deputy Minister Meshkov, Mr. Ambassador, Mr. President of the House of Representatives, Ministers, your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely happy to welcome in Cyprus the dear colleague and friend, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation. I wish to warmly welcome also the distinguished delegation from Moscow and thank the Russian Ambassador in Cyprus for the organization of this nice reception. The visit of Mr. Lavrov marks in the most formal and prominent way, the culmination of the celebrations for the 55th anniversary from the establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries. The visit has much more than a ceremonial event. It was a visit of substance, the best indication and the natural result of 55 years of close relations and expanded cooperation in all fields built on the solid foundation of strong historic bonds, and especially friendship between our two nations, which goes back centuries, 2011. Oh, no, sorry, 11th century. 11th century. <laughs> the current visit is taking place at a crucial moment, with significant developments in Cyprus, our region and beyond. <coughs> our efforts to reunite our island is reaching now a critical moment. We are grateful to Russia that Russia assured us once more that it will continue to actively support the process on the basis of its traditionally principled position. Today's celebration is an excellent opportunity to express the deep appreciation of the government of the secret people for the solidarity and the valuable Russian assistance throughout the years. A solution of the Cyprus problem would also have a positive symbolism for our turbulent region. We are witnessing dramatic moments in our neighborhood and we concur with Russia on the need to coordinate and unite forces 
in order to address common challenges such as terrorism. Allow me once more to express our deep sympathy for the crash of the Russian airplane over the Sinai Peninsula and our shock for the downing of the military aircraft by Turkish Air Force, which was a serious blow to the international efforts to combat ISIS. Cyprus has always been a stabilizing factor in the region, with no hidden agenda, and with a sincere wish to forge cooperation with all the neighboring countries, so as to create an area of peace and prosperity. We are ready to provide our assistance to all the efforts aiming at bringing stability in the region and ensure security for our countries and our citizens. In closing, I wish to start to another important pillar of the relations between Russia and Cyprus, the economic cooperation and the human contacts. Both governments have reiterated today their willingness to further expand the already broad institutional framework of cooperation and to work towards the enhancement of this mutually beneficial relation. Business interaction, investments, tourism, Education and cultural exchanges will be supported and promoted <coughs> in a systematic manner. Your Excellency, dear friend, allow me once again to express our appreciation and great pleasure to welcome you today on our island. This visit, which takes place in the middle of an extremely busy and challenging agenda of the head of the Russian diplomacy, is a sign of the quality and depth of our relations. Can I then, in my turn, and proportionate to the size of it, present you with the mufflo. mufflo. This animal cannot be found anywhere else in the world except Cyprus. It's a sort of wild sheep, beautiful animal. Uh, which can be found on the mountains of Paphos and Trudos. It is an impressive, extraordinary animal that is difficult to be approached. But in the Middle Ages, it could be found in large numbers and it existed in almost all parts of the world. Its hunting was considered as a privilege for the rich. It is often depicted in mosaics especially in Cato Paphos. People are not allowed to hunt mufflons nowadays since they are protected species by the government. Thank you. Thank you very much, Johannes. And uh, I believe that this is a very proud animal <laughs> because unlike uh, the gift which I gave you, it does not allow anyone to ride it. 